I'm a volunteer pro staffer for the Fallen Outdoors. Our mission is to get veterans out to the outside to, you know, help people deal with stresses and whatnot and try to get away from the, the 22 suicides a day. Um, on this particular day, I took another pro staffer out with me. This was not just an open TFO trip, but it was a pro staffer who, who wanted to get out and we came out here. This is one of my favorite marinas early in the year on the Potomac, and this was my first trip out uh, playing around with my life. I've actually active target uh, a little bit, uh, still kind of learning to use it. I've had it for about a year now. It's, it's kind of useful, and you'll see some more of it later in the video here. Keep if I wanted to. I gotta be 15 right out here right now to keep them. At a clock, it's out there all night. I get home, she's getting ready for work. All right, she's like, got a little bump right there too. He didn't take it, but he just bumped it and left it. That could have been a broom. She's like, did you catch anything? I'm like, well, there's a reason I was out there for 10 hours straight. And a cooler full of bluefish. I was like, I was trying to get the rockfish, but then I ran into the air, the issue of you can't possess rockfish after midnight. And I was like, so I was what? catching them. Yeah, it's like midnight to six o'clock in the morning. And I was like, I was catching them left and right. getting bigger. Oh, they're getting bigger, yeah. Yeah, I'm right on. I was going to say, that right, there may be another one in there. That's a pretty decent little fish. Yeah, dang it. Let's see how it but you almost always get them right in the roof of the mouth yeah. like that. I used to love fishing treble hooks because I'm like, I can always get them if they bite it. But then I was always getting my fingers too. And I was like, all right, I'm tired of this.
my buddy's more of a saltwater fisherman. Somewhere in here, I don't know whether it was right before this or right after this, I uh, tied him up a drop shot and kind of showed him how to use it a little bit, and uh, he, uh, he took to it pretty quickly. Sensitive ride helps a lot for this. Here, hold on to before you throw it back. Yeah, I heard you go, oh, <laughs> and I felt it too. I was like, all right, we got the skunks off the boat. Sailboat's usually a pretty good spot. I've caught a number right in there. Where that blue rope is tied up. I didn't keep the video on this, but when we came back around to that spot, I uh, I got a bite off exactly that uh, that post. Unfortunately, when I set the hook, it snapped my line. I hadn't retied in a while, so that's my fault. But uh, that could have been a decent fish. Of course, they all felt pretty good that day. Waste a lot of time too. Yeah. You ever see them that they just never hit? Oh, I, I see them all the time and can't get them to hit. That's what I'm saying. You can waste a lot of time if you're not careful doing that. But I have. I just got that before. Uh, I want to fish the on the counter. Go. I have watched him swim over and hit my bait too, so it could be useful.
So we spent a nice morning out there on the river, and uh, between us, I think we probably caught about a dozen bass. None of them were huge. Uh, fewer keepers within that 15-inch range that's on the Potomac right now. Uh, several of them were a little, little smaller than that, but we had a nice time, and it was good to get out on the water with a fellow veteran. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Quick release. Quick release, yeah.